think if you guys were here in my kitchen this morning, you would probably laugh. I know you would laugh. You know why? This is like my seventh take. I'm, I'm making myself into a diva this morning. I'm, I'm slapping myself. Like, Kelly, snap out of it. Get over yourself. <laughs> I've either gone over my time, gone under my time, forgot to bring the stuff for the green smoothies that I said I was going to make to show Meg. I mean, I'm just beside myself. And this is what happens when I come in here and try to do my vlogging. Because I got up late, because I slept on the couch last night, and Aunt Flo arrived, and I'm just beside myself, and I'm all over the place. And I just came in here to do my vlogging for you guys. Do you see what I do for you? But I'm doing it for you. I hadn't even had my cappuccino yet. I started to brew my cappuccino in Mr. Tossimo back there without a cup underneath it. <laughs> this is what happens when you start drinking bourbon before you start drinking your coffee. Ooh, what? Um, so I'm just going to make this quick. <laughs> Meg? And for all of you that had asked me, I'm gonna start having my green smoothies again. Breakfast, can you see? And how do you make green smoothies? I'm gonna tell you, I wanted to demo it on here, but uh, you know how I am about messes. But I did make it and I did tape it. You're just gonna to have to take my word for it. Will you be quiet? And uh, by the way, when I was taping my last one, I get a text from Jay, down in Florida, Mr. Jay. <laughs> Such a jackass. He goes, it's 40 and raining there, and I, it's 80 and sunny here. Hmm, I think I will take the rest of the day off. So hold on, I'm going to text him back. Nice one, jackass. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to tell you guys, if you want to... <laughs> and that with a smiley, so he knows I love him. And, um, send. Um... If you want to really see a good demo of how to make these and, and what it looks like with somebody who's obviously more efficient at it than I am, um, and who probably had their coffee, um, go to YouTube and look up Green Smoothie Girl. Uh, she's on there. And then her website, greensmoothiegirl.com, is where I originally got this, um, this concept. Somebody else on their blog had mentioned it last year. Um, but all you do is you take a blender. I think I put... I made it this morning because I was doing it from memory and I put too much water in. So put like a cup of water, maybe a cup and a half. This is not one serving, people, okay? I'm not gonna drink all of this. This is probably at least three or four servings, you know, depending, depends on what you wanna drink. But keep in mind, okay, when you're talking about greens, a cup and a half of collard greens, or this is like a mix. Um, usually I just do kale and spinach. So I get a big bunch of kale at the grocery store, chop it up, throw it in here, and spinach. A cup and a half of this stuff is 20 calories, okay? So think about what you're putting in here. It's very simple, it's all natural. So put about a cup, maybe a cup and a half of water in here, then take a big handful of your greens. I mean, when I say a big handful, I mean like about that much. Shove it in there, do your first handful, mix that up with your blender, get it liquefied. Then you put your next big, big handful of greens in there, mix that up. Then you wanna add what you're gonna to do to make it sweet, and that's totally up to you. I think she said she does apple. I haven't done apple. What I do is I put a frozen banana in. Um, you can do a regular banana. The only reason I say frozen is a lot of times when I get a big bunch of bananas, I only like bananas raw right after they're not green anymore. Once they're past that green stage, I can't stand the taste, so I put them in the freezer, which is great for smoothies. So I put in one or two in this one, because it was a little weak, I put in two. So there's two bananas in here, that's 200 calories. Um, and then berries, frozen berries. Um, a whole cup of this is 70 calories. I put in probably half of a cup, if that. Um, you could put in regular blueberries, raspberries, any kind of berries, obviously. Banana, I think, is really, it, it provides a nice balance. And then for sweetener, right now, again, I'm just using the raw sugar. I put in maybe two good teaspoons of that. Um, or honey. I think I'm going to switch to doing honey because it, it does nice, it has a nice taste. And then you blend it all up and honest to God, this stays in the refrigerator. Um, it's quite tasty. It has, it does, for those of you that haven't had it before, it's going to have a little bit of a, um, of a grassy taste, but it's not grass like, you know, you're having a grass salad. It's, it's, it's going to have that, it's, it's good. If you've ever been to the grocery store and had that, um, I think it's called... Maybe the brand is Go Naked. There's a brand called Adwala. They're those, um, they're always over in the produce section. They're those drinks and there's one that's like vanilla protein and there's one that's green. 
I think the drink is called Go Naked or something, Naked Green or something like that. And I have always bought that. I loved it. Um, to me, that's what this tastes like. And for me, this is something that I can make in the morning and have a pretty big pretty big glass of it and kind of sip on it all morning. It's very filling. You're getting in greens. Your calories are next to nothing. It's all natural. Um, I like it. So that's kind of what I'm doing in the mornings now. I also put maybe, I don't know, a fifth of Jack Daniels. Uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Maybe tomorrow we'll try sour mash. Just kidding. Mm. I really like it, you guys. So check it out, Green Smoothie Girl. Um, as of this Friday, I will be four weeks off of the uh, artificial sweetener. Guys, I went cold turkey. It was not that difficult at all. Um, so many of you are writing going, did you crack yet? Did you crack? I haven't cracked at all. I emptied out. I have no butter spray. I have no um, sugar-free creamer in my, th in my um, refrigerator. No, I don't say refrigerator. I say refrigerator. Who says refrigerator? Oh, put that in the refrigerator, Johnny. Um, so no, I feel fine, and now I'm I'm kind of expanding my diet to eat, you know, more like just natural, healthy, food, organic, yummy foods. There's great foods out there when you're not in that panicked mindset of I can't have that, I can't have that, I can't have that, I can't have that. Please, I mean, for certain purposes, yeah, but you know what? I am really, really feeling good about what I'm doing, and I'll start to share with you guys more, you know, kind of what led me to, to clean things up a lot with my diet, because there are specific reasons. Um, long story short, it's just there's a lot of stuff my body went through last year, a lot of, a lot of issues, um, a lot of physical stress, a lot of emotional stress, and you, you put that all into the tumbler, and then you, you add that you're just killing yourself with your workouts, and instead of doing what you've done all of your life, or for a good portion of your life, which is working out four or five days a week, about an hour a day, and you're adding more stress and more pressure and more intense emotion and all of this stuff than you've ever done before. And then you're working out six days a week, two hours a day, and doing this crazy diet and adding in all the supplementation and, and protein bars and protein shakes and, and supplements. Your body is like, or my body, I think was just like, whoa, enough. So I mean, a lot of what I'm doing is I'm really just trying to slow down give my body a chance to breathe and detox. I'm really working on detoxing mentally and physically. Um, and I feel much better, I really do. I feel more calm, more centered. And I know that sounds very Oprah. We love Oprah. Um, but, uh, oh gosh, that just made me think of something I was gonna tell you. And I uh, don't remember what I was gonna say. But anyway, whoever won my books yesterday, we have two winners. You need to leave a comment on yesterday's vlog because that's how we prove that we're, you know, um, picking bona fide bloggers out there instead of, you know, it's just, that's the way we have to do it. If you're going to claim your prize, you have to leave a comment um, so that we show that we're real people. And if I don't have you guys claiming your product, I'm going to have to give it to someone else. Don't make your Aunt Kelly angry. All right, that's it, you guys. Short and sweet today. Sorry, I'm even in my robe. Totally out of sorts today. But thank God Mr. Renee is coming over later tonight. That man deserves a medal. He's the one that keeps me in a good mood a lot, people. That's it. Shoes tomorrow, I promise, Tommy. I'm so sorry. Alex, how are you?